Okay, here's a quick tutorial on how to use Cam Scanner to scan your artwork and email it. It comes from camscanner.com. It's a free app, of course, with added on things that they want to sell to you. But for our purposes, we can just use the free version. Uh, this is what the app looks like. It is available for iPhone or Android. I recommend you clear off your space, kind of like I have here, uh, with a bright light uh, so you can uh, see your artwork well. So when you open the app, uh, you'll see the button at the bottom uh, to batch uh, take photographs and I have my animation drawings here and I'm gonna turn it sideways so that I can uh, get them as big as possible and you take a picture and take another picture we'll just go through these and these are pencil drawings it's gonna do a high contrast uh, JPEG image of your work. After you've taken all your pictures, you're going to click where the red number is of the number of pictures, uh, and it says question book. And it's going to send you into this mode where you see all the green lines trying to guess at where your picture is. And those green lines mean that it selected that area and it did a pretty good job of guessing that yes, that is the edge of the paper. So you're going to toggle through each one of them and look, that one it got wrong. Okay, so you can grab that little knob in the center and move it up and go, oh, there you go, that's the edge of my paper. Here's another one it got wrong. See, so he was seeing the edge of the table. Um, and. If you uh, try to keep the edge of the table out of your photographs or other things from the surrounding area out of your photograph, it'll do better. So then I'll hit the green check mark in the corner and it will convert them all. Now it made them all um, sideways, so I could rotate them. I could send them all sideways or I could rotate them. Um, sometimes I've noticed if you use the camera, um, if you open the app that is um, with, the, with the phone sideways already, then it, then it keeps them sideways. So, what is the name of my doc? Well, this is, uh, this, my character here is Leo, so Leo's getting hit, um, uh, and he's falling out of his chair, so I'm calling it Leo Hit. It's a good idea to name your batch, because when you go to share it, uh, that'll be the name of the email that you send. Now, I could hit share, but that's not gonna give me a JPEG option, just PDF option, so instead, I'm going to close out of that. So instead, I'm going to click the three dots in the lower right corner, and I'm going to say email to myself, and choose JPEG. So JPEG will then will make all those uh, scans, those photos, into uh, JPEGs, and it already knows the subject uh, based on the name, and I'm emailing to myself. Now, you could uh, then, from there, you could forward it on to uh, whoever you want. So very quickly, I'll rush through and scan these other ones. Rotate them. I am going through rotating each one. And I'll go ahead and email them to myself. Oh, look, I forgot to give it a name, so I'm going to discard that. I'll go back, rename. This is the Leo uh, glove that actually punches Leo. So I will instead now, when I go to email to myself, it says, oh, do you want the original size? So I'll try to get the biggest size I can. Keep it under uh, yeah, keep it under 15 or 20 pictures uh, per email, and that's a good idea too with your layers. If you're going to do a different layer, um, have it as a new batch or a new email. So there you go. That's Cam Scanner, and you can give that a try and see how it works for you.